Hi, today I'm going to present you the painting Cardinal Points. The background of the painting is made of two photos that I found online. So the first one is on the background here, on the bottom of the painting, and it represents the inside of a building with a view to the sky. So it's the way I've done it, it's I distorted the photo and I really wanted to give an impression of disorientation and to then this disorientation is linked to the political disorientation, to the social disorientation. And also if you are inside a court and you have a view to the sky, your point of view, if you are on the ground level or if you are on the top level, is completely different. So you have a kind of verticality and this verticality is quite important because for me it's not only a physical verticality but a social verticality, a political verticality and an economic verticality. So it's really important. And the second photo I took online represents a May Day protest in Greece during the confinement. So if you look at the photo, the people were separated. So you had a kind of physical distanciation and it was a rally against the government. So that's why it's linked to the political matter in this painting and it's on the top and it represents the building, the back of the building are like ancient monuments. So it asks the question about central government and I, of course as I am working within the thinking of digital spaces, digital engagement, I wanted to ask the question of how you get disoriented, politically speaking, when you have a confinement and when your only way of communication is through uh, digital uh, supports. After I finished the background, I started to embed some collages. So you will have different types of collages and different references, of course. So the first reference is economic and I took some uh, blueprints. So I put it in here, in there um, and there of the HSBC Bank in Hong Kong. And my point is, um, so the HSBC Bank is in Hong Kong. I went there a few years back to, because I, I like to see um, the physical buildings of big banks and HSBC is quite an icon. And also, of course, with the protests in Hong Kong, it's quite relevant because it's a protest about um, the oppression of the central power of China and a protest for the independence. So I really wanted to embed the blueprints because they represent for me the foundations. It really asks the question of central power organization. That's why I embedded the cover of the book of the Theological Political Treatise of Spinoza. So it's really a matter of democracy and how you organize uh, government. And of course, it links to the question of freedom. What is your freedom in regard of which kind of government you have? So um, it's really a question of who you are at a certain time, but also because we can't forget the um, question of 
digital orientation and for me you are currently because the the, the painting is completely uh, transformed and you have uh, multiple perspectives so it's really it disorients you and then you have the link to the Mede protest which was a communist protest so it's really like where we are going to how different um, populations are organizing themselves with on the background on the big scenery the fact that you have a pandemic you look at the protests and you have a lot of videos you see people engaging in the protest physically speaking but also they have a mask some of them don't but they are filming the, they are using their phone to take the videos of the protest and people are taking videos of people taking videos of the protests so it's like not only the, the primary distanciation with the physical fact that you are not seeing each other so you go, go together like people are reuniting and then they are wearing a mask so you don't really see their facial expressions and then you use your phone so it's like multiple distanciation to go further in the knowledge so i like I said, use the Spinoza um, theological political treatise and to support it, I wanted to put some prints of uh, the book written by Abel Hugo. I already used it in my previous painting, so it's uh, the pittoresque France and it has been done in 1835. So I, in this painting, I just embedded some prints of a cathedral and inside a cathedral. So at the end, I put a blueprint of a drone here in the center. So it's really like you have the convergence of the windows, like it's the windows of the building of the photo I distorted. So it's really the view to the sky, but in this case, the sky, you don't know if it's like to the ground or to the, sky, to the top. And for me, the drone has multiple uh, references. Uh, first, of course, the reference to the war. Uh, it's uh, guided uh, remotely. So it's really through the digital environment, uh, which is really important for me to point the fact that the way you, we organize the war is more and more remote and but the most important thing is you have an enemy you need like to converge like you have the people and to converge together they need an an enemy an invisible enemy but it also of course because it's the drone the 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 blueprint of the drone is inside a square it asks the question of freedom and how uh, by itself but the, the way of a kind of machine um, uh, symbiose governments are organized and governments can um, uh, relate on the physical entity through the fact that more and more our physical entity becomes uh, digital with a value of dematerialized, dematerialized value and how you manage this value and of course by uh, extension how you manage the physical entity and the obedience of people so what i'm doing also it's i put because for me it's really important some drawings of networks and those drawings are uh, linking all the different elements I embedded inside the painting. 
and really at the last part of the the last part of the painting is I put a shape so it's like a kind of veil as usual but it's also like a curtain you can unravel so you have a kind of transparency so it, it's for me it's really you see what is happening you know what is happening you have all the elements but this reality and it's linked to the um, the fictional politics it's so close to you it's so it's it's real but in a kind of uh, unrealistic vision because people they don't want to see what is in front of them not to acknowledge it and not to change because they rather go in their own bubble and also considering that our societies are completely under the implementation of algorithms, especially nowadays with the pandemics. We relate on algorithms for almost everything, deliveries, um, movement, mobility, and um, healthcare, and it's expanding a lot. So it's really like you have a kind of reality you are dragged by algorithm because algorithm they organize and it's linked to the productiveness of society because you need to survive economically speaking in each different society so really the the the, the shape is how you are blind in front of a very strong powerful reality that you don't want to see and nowadays the big question is the freedom is democracy and we need to be educated we need to understand how it works as single human entity because if we don't we will be fully blind in front of an organizational government not ruled by a physical government but more by a productive economic norm so i hope you enjoy my uh, little presentation